Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Teamster and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade any iOS version on an iPhone 4S to iOS 6.1.3 using OTA blobs and the Odysseus OTA tool. This only works because Apple is still signing OTA blobs for the iPhone 4S and the iPod and the iPad 2. Right now the tool only works with the 4S but I will add bundles for the iPad 2 in the future. And yeah, the only thing you need is a jailbroken iPhone 4S. And yeah, let's start. First you download the Odysseus OTA tool, links can be found in the video description. And for all of you who plan to relink this tool in some Reddit posts or forums, Please uh, relink to this video and not directly to the tools because when I'm gonna update the tool I will update the links in the video description so if you relink to this video people will have the latest uh, tool. Yeah, also you need to download the uh, firmware for the iPhone 4S 6.1.3 and yeah let's start. First you need to unzip the tool, I'm gonna make this on the desktop. Then you're gonna need to open up a terminal and cd into the directory. And here you can see the Kloader and the macOS folder. Right now there are only binaries for macOS, but I will compile this for Linux too. And I will make a tool for Windows, but this will get a separate video guide. So cd macOS, and here we have these tools and firmware bundles. I only included the 6.1.3 firmware bundle. This is a modified version of the bundle which Xero published. And the reason I only include one bundle is because uh, this only works with signed firmwares and I did not have time, had time to make other bundles yet. So let's just start. We need to make a custom firmware and now first IPSW, then we point to the original firmware which is on the desktop in my case. And then we need to name custom, custom downgrade, just, you can just choose a name and the very important part here is to add the um, dash bb update. If you forget this, you won't get a baseband and your baseband won't work. If your baseband does not work, you won't get past the activation screen. If you can't get past the activation screen, you won't be able to jailbreak. And if you can't jailbreak, you're basically stuck and you have to go to the latest firmware. So that's why don't forget this. This is very important. And yeah, just confirm. Um, right now you cannot make custom firmwares which directly include Cydia and Jerry because I think there's a bug. I'm gonna look into that. But we can just downgrade on stock 613 and then simply jailbreak with POSIX spawn. This works fine. So while the firmware is being created, we're gonna go to the phone, open up Cydia and here we can see it's an iPhone 4S, you see 4.1 on iOS 8.3 and we're gonna install OpenSSH. OpenSSH. And install. So yeah, for this your device has to be jailbroken. So after we installed OpenSSH, we're almost done on device. Okay, let's wait until the custom firmware is done. So now the firmware is done. I did speed this up just a bit. And you see custom, I'll oh, forget the O, downgrade 
firmware. It's right here. So the next step is to get the um, the SHSH blobs, and this is as simple as dot slash i device restore custom, and I think minus t parameter, and yeah, that's it. Now it asks for the OTA SHSH blobs, and you need to pass the custom firmware, not the original one. This only works with the custom firmware. And you see SHSH blobs saved. And now we can continue. After we have the blobs, we need to copy KLoader and pond IBSS. Oh, I forgot the pond IBSS. This is a command I always forget, so I wrote it down. Okay, so we just have to paste this. I'm gonna paste this also in the video description. I think I'm going to paste every command in the video description so I just can copy and paste. You just paste it and the only thing you need to adjust is the custom IPSW and custom downgrade. So that's it. And now we have a pond IBSS. Now we need to put the device in, um, in a pondfu like mode. I think we should give it a separate name like kdfu or something like that because it is defu mode from the kernel. It is a bit different than pondfu. I think we just should name it kdfu or something like that. So for that we need to find out the IP of the device. It has to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So just tap here and that's the IP. So first we copy um, the files, scp, then pond ibss and then dot dot slash kloader to root at then the ip and two dots like this, okay. It's gonna take a while on when you try to connect over SSH for the first time, it will ask you for keys. Just type yes and the password is Alpine if you did not change it. And you see those two files were copied. And then just SSH, oh, SSH root add then the IP, just SSH to the device. Again, Alpine, and you see we have two files here, and then we just run kloader on the pond ibss. This won't take too long, just a second. And you see magic happening now. The device is black, it's now in kdfu mode. And you can just uh, open a new tab. I'm gonna open the new tab and close this one. And we're still in this directory. And now all we need to do is dot slash device restore and the V parameter and then the custom downgrade. And that's it. Just wait for this to finish. I'm gonna speed this up a bit so we don't have to wait too long. I mean, downgrading is not too complicated. It's everyone can do, it's easy.
And here you see sending NOR data, flashing NOR, and about to send baseband data. And the thing is, if you don't see this sending baseband data, if you don't see this, then you probably forgot to pass the BB update parameter to the um, IPSW tool when creating your custom firmware. And if you did forget to pass that parameter, you're pretty much fucked if you, um, if there's no public jailbreak available for the latest firmware because you won't be able to activate your device if you did not flash a baseband. So be sure to double check that you did not forget BB update. And you see sending baseband data now, sending done, update complete and restore finished. And we're done on the computer now. Let's switch to the phone. And you can see we downgraded to iOS 6.1.3. If you see this pop-up sim locked, then you're fine. If you don't see this pop-up and you see searching over there, then you probably forgot the BB update parameter and you don't have a basement and you won't get past the um, activation screen. I'm gonna unlock my phone right now, pass in the pin. And you see pin entry success and then I can just set up the phone. Gonna enter my Wi-Fi key. And you see we got signal over here. Continue activating phone. And it's activated. And we're here. We're successfully downgraded to iOS 6.1.3. So thank you for Xerop for his uh, this is tool. I just did some minor modifications. Thanks for Windows CM for her awesome K loader tool. And thanks a lot to I hate snow who's helping me out over and over again when I have questions regarding iOS and stuff. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed and see you.